Okay, hey y'all, so this is a very highly requested video. I'm gonna be telling y'all today how I have managed to lose 36 pounds in the span of almost five months, but stay consistent the entire time. As a little bit of a backstory, I was my heaviest back in March of this year and I weighed 232 pounds. Um, and so on March 8th is when I started my weight loss journey and I have been consistent in going to the gym about three to four times a week. And I usually run about maybe like nine or 10 miles throughout the week, um, kind of like split up between my days. So today I'm going to be telling y'all how I do that and make it work. I also have everything on my phone. So if y'all see me looking at my phone, that's what I'm doing. Also look how cute my phone case is. It's a Polaroid of me and my mom, my brother and my sister. Okay. So the first thing I feel like you need to do is you need to figure out what you want to look like. So for me in the hidden folder on my phone, I have all of my progress pictures that I've taken from day one up until yesterday, cause I haven't taken one today. Um, but also mixed into that, I have a few snippets of people that I want to look like. So for me, I want to have very nice strong muscular calves i want defined hamstrings defined quads um i want a flat stomach with abs but not like severely protruding abs just like kind of the faint outline um as far as upper body i want nice shoulders i want really toned biceps so sorry about jojo um really toned biceps i want really defined lats jojo please um what else? Oh, I also want like a really toned muscular back. Like when I want, when I wear a sports bra, I want y'all to be like, girl, the back is giving. That's what I want y'all to say. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all that I want as far as my body type. But I have not been able to find somebody who I can look at and say, yes, this person, that's exactly what I want to look like. I also feel like sometimes that can be a little difficult to see one person say, I want to look like this person because I might not be able to do their workouts. I might not be able to eat what they eat. And you know, genetics plays a really big role in everything. So I just take little snippets. Like literally I have a picture of somebody's quads, not their face, just their quads as far as what I want to look like. And that's really helpful for me because if you just want to say, oh, I just want to lose weight off my stomach. I just want to lose my back fat. That's a very vague goal. And I feel like it helps a lot more to make more specific goals so that you have something to actively work towards, actively look like, if that makes sense. Okay, so now that you have figured out what you want to look like, it is extremely important for you to find workouts that work best for you. So like for me personally, I absolutely love to weight lift, but I don't like doing HIIT workouts. I don't want to do CrossFit. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to do my two to three miles at the beginning of my workout, and then I want to weight lift, and then I want to walk out of the gym. So if weightlifting is not for you, that's totally fine. You can still achieve your goal. But if you go into the gym, you're like, oh my God, my trainer gave me this workout that I really don't like. I really don't want to do it. It's going to be so easy for you on days when you don't want to go to the gym. Be like, man, I'm just, I'm just going to skip today. I just, I'm going to skip because I don't want to do those workouts. And you're just not going to be happy if you do that. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you find workouts that you enjoy doing. So like for me, I love a good leg day. I don't care if it's squats um leg press leg extensions hamstring curls landmark rdls that is my bread and butter so if i have days where i'm just like oh, dude i really don't feel like going to the gym it's leg day it is leg day it is a day for me to do whatever exercise ex words whatever exercise is going to make me feel the best that's what i want to do um even if you do have a personal trainer and they're curating workouts for you and for your goals you need to advocate for yourself because at the end of the day you are paying them money and if you're paying them money, then they need to do workouts that are conducive for you, that are making you feel good, and that are making you feel comfortable. So find workouts that you like to do. Okay, so now that we have figured out what we wanna look like, we have found workouts that work best for us. Now we need to find a time to go to the gym that works the best for us. Okay, another little backstory. So for me, I go to the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. So this is very much a college town. So. Usually the time I go to the gym, there are a lot of very thin, very blonde, very beautiful sorority girls. Then you have the frat daddies and then you have just like the normal people like me just kind of working out. And then you also have the bodybuilders, the competitors. So it can be very daunting, very intimidating. If you're just starting out in the gym, if you're just trying to like get comfortable, get consistent in this new routine, it can be very hard for you to want to go to the gym between the hours of like two to seven or kind of like 12 to seven, because that's when all those people go. Um, especially people in my age group, that's when we typically go to the gym. So when I first started out, when I was nervous and I had no idea what I was doing, I either went really early in the morning, 
like four o'clock in the morning or I went later at night um kind of like the nine to ten o'clock range because at that point like nobody's really there people are either just waking up or they just got home and they just want to go to sleep um so yeah that has honestly worked the best for me and I also think it's really important to remember that when you go to a gym especially if you go to a gym that has free weights most of the time nobody's looking at you nobody's saying oh my gosh I can't believe Jayon is in the gym today what is she wearing what is she hitting today mm -mm. nobody cares everybody is so self-absorbed everybody is thinking about themselves about them goals i know me girl i'm doing this just remember that even if you think people are looking at you honestly nine times out of ten they're not looking at you so just focus on yourself go in there do that workout and feel good about yourself and don't worry about anybody else i know that's easier said than done but eventually it does get better and you just stop caring okay so we have gotten to the gym we have found a time that works the best for us now what do we do what workouts are we doing what what am i supposed to do now so for me when i first started it was the end of 2019 so right before the world shut down and i would go in there because i had absolutely no idea what i was doing yes my boyfriend is a personal trainer but i really wasn't trying to like use his expertise because i really wanted this to be like my independent journey that i grew myself that i built myself um and so i would go in there and i would do 12 through 30. this was when 12 through 30 first started like to make away on tiktok for real um so yeah so i started doing that and i would do that every single day for 30 minutes for two weeks now why two weeks a lot of people say that it's scientifically proven that it takes two weeks to form a habit and i will say that it did work i used to look forward to going to the gym every single day after those two weeks and the days that i couldn't go simply because my schedule did not allow it i was so sad because working out just like it ends up making you feel good and like those endorphins get to pump in and you're just excited and you're excited to be there you're excited to go so i definitely recommend doing 12 through 30 for at least the first two weeks and that also gives you time to figure out like what exercises you want to do if you want to buy, buy plans from a personal trainer if you want to get a personal trainer it gives you enough time to do all of that and also if you are going to get a trainer if you can stick to these two weeks then you can say, okay, now that I've proven that I can stay a little bit consistent, even a little bit consistent, now I can commit to getting a personal trainer and we can just kind of go from there. So I definitely do recommend if you just have no idea where to start, you have no previous knowledge about weightlifting, working out, losing weight, I definitely recommend 12 through 30. Um, it's an amazing workout. It gets the heart rate up. It's a 10 out of 10 as far as I'm concerned. So I have the Apple Watch Series 7. I used to have, I had the one like when it first came out and I had the one up until like a year and a half ago eh, it was bad um but now i upgraded from the one to the three and now i got the seven for my birthday and so i added a lot of my friends a lot of people from tiktok from instagram like my friends that i see every day i added them on my apple watch fitness you can only add 40 people but even even still being able to look at your apple watch and like competing with your friends to see like who burned more calories who ran the farthest today who hit their 10,000 steps it will get you out of bed like nothing else let me tell you I love competing with people. I'm in a competition with I think about like 25 people right now. So it's a little crazy, but it definitely does make me want to get up because like if my move ring is only at 300 and I see Sally Lou down the street already has 15,000 steps for the day, oh, I'm getting up because you're not going to beat me, especially if you're a competitive person. Highly, highly, highly recommend getting one an accountability partner, but two specifically adding people on Apple Watch and competing with them, it works every time, I promise. Okay, so if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know your girl is a shopper, okay? I love to shop, I love to buy things, a lot of expensive things. Um, so recently I just got the AirPods Max, I think that's the correct name for them. So like the overhead headphones that Apple just came out with um, a few years ago, like a year ago. Um, change the game absolutely changed the game i had the airpods when they first came out and then i had the airpod pros and then i recently upgraded to the airpods max amazing sound quality amazing because when i'm in the gym i don't want to hear anybody else i don't want to hear you slamming your weights i don't want to hear you breathing i don't want to hear you grunt i don't want to hear any of it so to have like noise cancellation headphones helps me a lot it helps me stay in the zone it helps me be focused and also i have my running playlist which is also like it doubles as my gym playlist in my bio on instagram tiktok and i also believe it's also linked in my youtube description let me tell you it will get you pumped every single time so find music that you like to listen to or if you're not even a music person listen to um what are they, a podcast i don't know why i couldn't think of that listen to a podcast so i'm a person that really loves true crime so i love listening to crime junkie or just listen to any kind of podcast you want if you're a reader like me and you want to listen to an audiobook while you're at the gym girl listen to your audiobook whatever's going to get you pumped whatever's going to get you going and excited to go to the gym 
do that but for me music is gonna do it every single time and I love to switch up my music so I don't get used to the same music playing in the same order even if it's on shuffle like hearing the same thing over and over again so revamp that music playlist or you can listen to mine and get some inspo from mine um but yeah definitely music is a game changer when it comes to being consistent following along with my detrimental shopping habit um I have found it very helpful to buy myself things whenever I reach a certain weight or like a certain pounds down so a lot of people have this um calendar it's a blank calendar you just fill in the month and then every pound or so down that you get you can buy yourself something so when I first started I did that and I would buy myself gym clothes off Amazon and a lot of the times it was gym stuff for me because if I buy stuff for the gym okay now I'm gonna want to go to the gym so that I can try it out like recently I just bought myself a shaker bottle and new pre-workout and then I'm gonna buy myself a gym bag and some new running shoes because now I'm 36 pounds down almost 40 and that definitely deserves a little bit of praise so I definitely say like once you reach five pounds down buy yourself something nice even if it's like a Starbucks gift card you're gonna say hey I'm gonna get Starbucks on this day or me and the girls are gonna go out for brunch on this day because I'm doing so good or like a top or some bottoms or just going out with your friends whatever it is buy yourself something that is going to keep you extrinsically motivated to continue to go to the gym because it helps let me tell you and the last tip I have I feel like this is probably the thing that has helped to keep me most consistent and just help me to remember that I have a goal to accomplish so I'm a person that likes to weigh myself every single day now for some people that's not gonna work for some people that is automatically a non-starter but for me it just helps me to remember that I have a goal that I want to achieve and I need to stick to that and I also say right before I get on the scale I look myself in the mirror um, and I just say to myself hey no matter what this scale says I love you and I love the way your body looks and this is just a number this is just a blip in time this is just a reference point this is not the end all be all of my weight loss journey this is one simple blip in time then I get on the scale I look at my number and I'm going about my day I don't think about it at all for the rest of my day but like starting my morning off being intentional helps me so much throughout the day or even if you don't like weighing yourself do the little tape measure trick I feel like a tape measure is a lot less like finite than getting on a scale the tape measure works so the waist the arms your bottom whatever um whatever is just gonna get you started off in the morning saying okay today I'm being intentional I know that I have goals that I want to accomplish and today I'm gonna be one step closer to meeting my goal weight to my dream body whatever it is okay y'all so that is the end of all of my tips as always if y'all have any other tips about being consistent in the gym things that have helped you things that you have learned your do's and don'ts please 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 do comment them in the comment section and I'll be in there talking to y'all adding in my two cents um and yeah I just want to say thank y'all so much for always supporting me um I definitely could not have gotten this far had it not been from all of your continued love and support on all of my social media platforms y'all are amazing and the next video that y'all see from me is going to be a week of workouts I'll see y'all later